Everybody got pretty cute here. We dignified. Yay. So last we left off, we we're going to. We need to fucking click on it. Bonk. Okay. Go check out. Noise. Whoop. Hmm. Determined face. Doesn't look like anything happened here. Maybe ghosts. Help! <gasps> Matthew! My buddy! I come save! He must be in trouble! I'm coming, Mommy! Noom! Noom! <sighs> Matthew! Where are you? I told you to stay put! How am I gonna get brotherly love now? N no. This is not happening. This can't be happening! Now who's living a lie? <laughs> What's this? I don't know, it's invisible. <gasps> it's Matthew's glasses! How the hell? I mean, abducting someone is one thing, but our glasses are really easy to come off. No. I'm so sorry, Matthew. You got dead. <laughs> what in the world happened to you? Oh, my darling baby brother. I'll keep these safe. For you. Sorry. Tip tap, tip tip. Wait for me, brother. I will save you and get us out of here. I promise. Well, look what you did with the last promise you did. Good bacon jab. The lost boy. Yep. Ready for that shit. You're so quiet. Sorry, this is- what is there to say? A bunch of things. Oh my god. This room's a fucking mess. It messes with my aesthetic. Um... Oop. There's a letter on the table. I think I'll come back to it later. Why? A book! Let me... Teddy bear! Tell me where he is. It's an old teddy bear on the table. <laughs> it's cute. He it reminds me of my brother! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. Appears to be a diary. Mm. Read the diary. Read. 23rd of April. Today was my big belly's birthday. Pe oh, it's a girl. Peter and I went, would always go up to him in person and ask him what he wanted for his birthday. Despite the number of times our parents told us not to, we just kept doing it anyway. And when it came down to it, he never really asked for much. Perhaps it's because he doesn't go for anything fancy. We are rich, but he doesn't care. Well, he is the elder of us, out of the three of us, but still, he never says anything. It's like he's blind or something. What? <laughs> I don't know, just, sometimes they make him sound like he's blind. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> You just said he never said anything. Well, maybe he's mute. He loved nature and drawing, but mother got him a sketchbook, or Reddy got him, or whatever. So I decided to make him a cake. Well, I'm British, so this is gonna end up bad. My brother didn't usually like chocolate cake, so I made him a lemon drizzle one instead. When I finished it, he just gave me a big smile and hugged me. I guess I was a really good sister to him. He just smiled and bared through the pain. <laughs> I'm so happy with my life! Our family was very unspecial! I don't want it to end! With love, Natalie! See, with Natalie. that- Natalie? Yeah. Really? Like, as in Code Geass, Natalie? Yep. Neat! Yep. Can't say I was expecting that, but I can dig it. Yep, they they said it was like- I did, I'd, I've never seen Code Geass, so I'm like, yeah. This diary's really old. It must have been before the attacks. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, hello, book. Ugh, my neck is straining me. I need to move. Yep, let's reposition. 
Oh, sorry, people. Get into good parts. Hello. There's an old book on the floor. Wonder to have a peek, unlike the fucking letters on the other side of the room. Jesus. What? That's odd. This book doesn't look like the rest of the books here. Yeah, it's old and tireless. Huh? What's this? There appears to be something written on the front of the book. Arthur. What kind of fucking name's that? Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Gives glance. <laughs> uh, would this be yep. the man in yep. question? The man of the hour? Yep. Man who of... are you? Wh what the? Tell me who you are. Why are you in this place? Answer me! What's going on? The fuck is that noise? Is there someone there? Ghosts! Who's talking to me? Show yourself! Oh, hi. It's me. Mario. Oh, ha. <laughs> Internal screaming. Why are you staring at me? It's fucking creepy. What's your name? Uh, Alfred. Uh, Alfred. That's a strange name. No, I mean Alfred. Wait. He stammered, so he thought that was oh, part okay. of the name. Oh. My full name is Alfred F. Jones. F for fucking freedom. Ah, I see. You're a dumbass. Ah. Alfred. Yeah. Can you see me? Sort of. Huh? It's just a simple question. Can you see me? Of course I can see you. You're standing right there, kinda, sorta. You can? This is wonderful! What? <laughs> Whoa, just take it easy, man. That's odd. Why is he laughing? It's because I said I could see him? I'm talking to thin air. It's almost like I'm talking to my brother. I'm laughing because I'm happy. Huh? For so long I hung around this empty house. No one could see me at all. How oh, fun. I'm glad you can see me. And I'm sorry for scaring you earlier. Uh, what do you think? My instinct is always top down. But you do what you want. Uh, are you a ghost or something? Yes, I'm afraid. How oh, fun. Despite how I appear, I'm pretty much a paranormal being. A ghost I am. I am physically dead. Jesus. No. Jesus! Are you? What's your name? What's your name? I'm really nervous about asking you this, but would you go out with me? What's your name? In life? I was known as Arthur. You don't have a name when you're dead? My name was Arthur Kirkland. Oh. Ma. Jesus! I am the worst. I came to this place over curiosity. I lost my brother, and now I've discerned someone from the grave. I am a wee trash. Could it get any worse? Well, you could be eating my niblets. That's not true. You could be dead like me, you ungrateful little sod. What? This wasn't where I died. My body isn't here. Mm -hmm. Why not? You can't just ask someone why they're dead. God. I can't remember. Fun. To tell you the truth, Alfred. I can't remember anything. And how do you know your name? Who I was here, how and why I died. Jesus! I almost... That's terrible! So is that why... Yes, Alfred. I can't move on because my memories are missing. Are they really that important? My whole life is missing. All of it. Gone. 
I've been trapped in this empty void ever since. Well. So, Alfred? Yes, Arthur? Will you help me recover my memories? Huh? We can become the king of games together. No! Because you can see me, and you know my name now. That means you... we're bond for life! <laughs> you can help me recover my memories. Here, just put on this necklace. Ah! I do want to help Arthur. My brother could still be in trouble. What can I do? What do you think? I'm just moving. You can still- Okay. Uh, I don't know, like, did did this happen in the demo? Mm -hmm. Which did you go with? Both. Ugh. How am I supposed to choose then? Okay, I guess I'll stick with top down. Okay. Help Arthur. Sure, I can help you, Arthur. You really mean it? Sure. Yeah. But my brother is in trouble. If we help each other out, we can still do both. Oh, your brother? Is he in trouble? Oh, is in trouble? I just told you, you... What you say, a twat? Yes. I can't just abandon my post and leave my brother. He needs... Brother? How strange. Why does it sound... Arthur? You okay, dude? Hello? Uh. Oi, big brother! Let's go outside and play! I never knew why my sister was a cockney and I wasn't. Ah! <laughs> Arthur? Noom! Hey, come back! Damn it! He's gone. Was it something I said? Oh, I can't move yet. I better take this with me. Yay. Now I can move. Son of a bitch. Now we can look at this shit. Letter. It's written by father. Yep. Bet this will help Arthur remember. Yay. Let's go. Hold on. Have I got the letter? Oh, okay. Didn't forget it. Right? I have it? Yeah? 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 Okay. Yeah, last time they didn't mention you needed the letter at all, so then when you moved on, I was like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. So it's good that they put that in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello? Where the fuck are you? Oh, it's overturned. Where the hell? It's new. Hello? No. I don't think I should go up here yet. Hello? I, should I am looking for Arthur. Arthur. I haven't used Ass Hat in so long. Maybe he went this way. Mirror! Nope. No. Peter's room. Aww. A little bear. A little teddy bear. We're in. Oh. Happy birthday, Peter. Love from Mom. Aww. Who's Peter? Sounds like he could be a. And sexual. Get it? I I actually don't. What are you Peter even... Pan? Ha <laughs> <laughs> There's a letter on the table. It's partly messy, but mostly readable. Almost readable. Big brother. I'm really sorry, but because passed I to you again. Please leave me alone. A while a peek at. Wonder. It's too messy to work out what this means. Big brother? Could this be referring to Arthur? Yeah. Oh. Whatever. I I I I I 
play or something. I wonder if this still plays. Only one way to find out. Do the thing. Do it. flat key which is weird it may be old but it plays like a new piano that was beautiful oh yep shit was, yep hey there you are hello again alfred that wasn't how i summoned you last time interesting i was playing on here to see if it still works it plays great despite its age you're right it's a good thing that it still plays. The song you were playing was wonderful. Thanks, man. No homo. Hey, Arthur. Yes, Alfred. Why did you disappear like that? You made me freak out for a second back there. Oh. I'm sorry about that. The only reason I left was because I remembered. Did you have to go to your corner? Oh. What do you remember? What do you remember? Well, when you were talking about your brother, uh -huh. I remembered that I had a little brother. Oh. I'm guessing he was called Peter? Yes, that was it. His name was Peter. Peter Kirkland. He was a little shit. He was the youngest out of our family. My little brother. Oh, so that's who Peter was. He was Arthur's little brother. Peter. So, did this room belong to Peter then? Yes. This was Peter's bedroom. See, if he was stuck in this house, how'd he fucking not get it? <laughs> Arthur? Huh? Peter? Oh, Wait, that's, you. Just... that's you. Sorry. You're jumping on everything. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, Peter. I guess that's you. Yeah. A yes. piano! Thank you, big brother! Uh, that was new. Arthur? Alfred. I remember now. I'm the only non cockney in my family. <laughs> on Peter's seventh birthday. I gave him this piano so he could play on it all the time. Every day, I would teach him how to play. I wonder how that would go. Do, do, do. Fuck off, Jack! I can do what I want! <laughs> <laughs> Over time, he got better at it. And when he played one... Sorry, the words scrambled for a second. Yeah. And when he played one song to me on his own, I was happy happy because he was learning fast every song he played i couldn't help but smile for him aren't you sweet but one day he stopped playing mom why mom i don't remember but it could have been because something terrible happened mom or was happening or had happened. I don't know, verbs are difficult when you're dead! <laughs> I was really sad about it, though. All I ever wanted was for Peter to play at least one more song on the piano. Just once more. Right. I better keep looking for Matthew. Let's go, Arthur! What's wrong? Alfred. Can I really... Can I really come with you? Well, if you both work hard enough, I'm sure we can. <laughs> Alfred, stop making things weird. Of course you can, Arthur. No need to ask me. Okay. Hey. 
I got a ghost. You. Uh, uh, hey! Uh, none ghost for me. What's the diary? On the table. Yeah. 15th January. Today, my sister was messing about with us again. So I guess the other room must have been Nunnally's? Or maybe it's Arthur's room. I don't know. No, it, it, it must have been Nunnally's because the diary was Nunnally's. Yeah. It's annoying about how she can be a bit pushy sometimes. But with the help of Big Brother, I came up with a plan. We stole her fitty teddy and put a fake rat under her pillow. And then the next morning, she screamed and ran out of her room. I was laughing for a while until Mummy and Daddy told us off for the prank. They were like, fuck you. I did get into trouble, but it was fine with Big Brother. I couldn't help but be very happy. My brother and I were really close. We just usually spent a lot of time together. Just my Big Brother and me. Even though he was a fucking jerk. Every night, they come to time. He would read me a story or sing me to sleep. For my certain birthday, he went as far as buying me a black ebony piano just for me. I was really happy and we hugged for hours. Hours? That's... He was a great brother. <laughs> every morning, he would teach me how to play a tune and he would smile every time I played a good song by myself. I love my big brother. He's the best I could ever have. Peter. <laughs> How nice of him. Hours? Like, I, I've heard that, like, the ideal length for a hug is, like, three seconds. Anything more is just uncomfortable. <laughs> Storybooks. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Hold on. Alright. Shouldn't I bring up the letter? I should. Yeah. Looks like a can in here right now. Ah, fine. Doom! There we go. No, like, who, whose room was that, actually? Because, like, who was the letter to? I don't know, it just said my- it's to, uh... Arthur, I think. Okay, then maybe that was Arthur's, because- Then had... he fucking stole Nunnally's diary! Yeah, that's- What a prick! Well, yeah, that's the question now, is why was Nunnally's diary in there? Back East Wing. New. Oh, hello. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong? I can't seem to go any further. Maybe this needs a key. Oh, you could just fucking go through it. I think I should check the library once more, just in case. New. Bloop. Also, you can't hear, but there's latent music happening in the background. Ooh, nice. Yep. Library was this way. Hello. Alfred? Hi. Alfred, what's wrong? A lot of things. Arthur, you know where the room I first encountered you? Yes. Well, I found a letter. This letter was from your father. My father? Yeah, I, I have it right here. Alfred is taken out. Father's letter. I'll do this. Okay. Wait, or do you want to do it? Uh, like, I've been a lot of the siblings. You can be the dad. Okay. Because I know he speaks later. Yeah. My dearest children. <laughs> As all three of you would know, our beloved queen, your mother, has passed away. Right now, I feel your sadness and grief, which leaves me with the problem. Without a queen, I cannot raise all three of you in the same house. The one you need is Nanny McPhee. My brother, your uncle has asked me if he was allowed to adopt either of you. But after one discussion, it was becoming clear that Arthur did not want this at all. So I guess it was to Nunnally too, so I guess it was all to the children. Mm, yeah, so that yeah. was Nunnally's room. Okay. Arthur, I can understand why you would hate me now. Your mother loved you so much. 
She loved you right until she took her last breath. Way to make the other two kids feel inadequate. Oh yes, she despised your siblings, but she gave you the love of God. <laughs> Please forgive the fool that I am. I don't know what is going to happen from now on, but I promise we will all stay together, no matter what. With love and coldness as naturally, your father. <laughs> Father. Uh. That was it. Arthur? Uh. Yes, it is true. My wife has passed away three days ago. I see. What are you planning to do? What are you referring to? I mean, about the rest of your life, because the queen is gone. Huh? What is father doing? But, my dear brother Ivan... Ivan. Ivan, thank you. I, I will manage to keep them here. I can still keep them, even if they don't have a mother anymore. The person you need is Nanny McPhee! Really? What are you suggesting, then? Well... What if I lighten the load on your shoulders? And adopt one of your children as my own. I'll take the girl. What? Why is he thinking about giving one of us up? You just heard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was unexpected. Yeah. It's quite a voice he's got now. <laughs> Brother, I need you to make a decision. I know. But I need some more time. I need to explain this to the children so that they understand. Father. Surprise. Ah. No. It's just you. It's only you, Arthur. Never mind, let me go back to my discussion. More vodka! Son, I know this seems bad. But it's not what you think it is. Oh, really? Look, just let me explain. I don't need you to explain it. You are going to give one of us away. Arthur, that's not true. Don't lie! You were thinking about that. Arthur, calm down for a minute. I like Ivan, she's just like, oh man, <laughs> shit's going down, I'm staying out of it. I know, I know what you heard may be a bad decision. She's so short. But I swear we can make this work. Just believe in me, ah. You liar! You said you would try to tell us that we can't be a family anymore. You are a stupid liar! Oh no. I HATE YOU! Echoes in the distance. F father Oh. I'm so sorry, Father. I never meant to shout at you. Only to berate you harshly in a moderate tone. Arthur? Alfred. I remember that day. It was a few days after Mother died. My father didn't know what to do. He tried to get some help from my uncle. But then I went in and lost it on him. If... if I didn't get angry about it, and take my anger out on him, then... then... none of this would have happened. Arthur... You know that's not true. It wasn't your fault. It's okay. I'm here for you. Let me cuddle you yeah, into say, my chest! Uh, are we gonna get some more tender hugs going on? Alfred. Yep! Tender ghost hug. Alfred truly is a pure heart. Just wait till you see me with Matthew. <laughs> 
he can see me and he can hug me for hours and hours I haven't been hugged for 50 years but he is so warm it's wonderful I know I'm dead but I can still feel his warmth I know that I am dead but I still have a few tears to shed I feel like I should know that Corpse Bride! Okay, I haven't watched that in years. Oh, right, still me. It's better than feeling nothing. What is Alfred feeling right now? It's just air. Nothing at all. Oh. Okay, player! It's time for a mini memory game! Oh, oh shit! From now on, this mini game will pop up at the end of each chapter. This will test you on how much you've been paying attention. Oh dear. Oh boy. Don't panic if you get any of them wrong. You always get another go. Okay. It's only a game. Alright, let's go. Oh. I'll let you answer these. After hearing a crash, Offer goes off to find out where the same come from. Sound came from. When he looks around the library, he hears another no sound. What was the sound? I. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Matthew's voice? Because that was like the first thing. Yup. Yeah. After going to the library, I heard Matthew scream. After I tell Matthew, would only find that he has vanished into thin air. He comes across the item dropped on the floor. What did Alfred find? Still me, or did you want to go? No, I know all the answers. So. Oh, right. That's, this that's is part a of the good demo. point. Okay, then. Matthew's glasses. That was it. After Matthew vanished, his glasses were left behind on the floor. In the study, he meets the ghost of Arthur for the first time. St oh, it's a study. So it wasn't... Okay, so that was a study. Arthur explains about his memory loss, and Alfred tells him that he's searching for his brother. What happened next? Um... Right, Arthur had a flashback, which caused him to run out of the room. Yep. That's correct. When Alfred told me about his brother, I suddenly remembered having a little brother. Oh, <laughs> Alfred leaves the study and searches for Arthur. Uh, after Arthur was found again, he explained about his brother, the youngest out of the family. What was the name of his brother? Peter. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. That's right. Had a wife, but couldn't keep her. <laughs> My brother's name was Peter. Peter Kirkland. Well done on the memory game! Yeah! Now, let's move on to the next chapter! Now, this is all new material. I have not seen it. Okay. Right there. Memories and clues! I got a fucking wanker <laughs> tailing me. God damn! This ain't very American. Alright. Okay, anyway, actually, we should be stopping right mm -hmm. here. Wait, hold on. So we're gonna get to pick this up next time. All new material. Hooray! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>